That's right, today is a good day. Here's the tires for the Toyota. They're 235 15s and they're mud tires. And I thought they looked super cool. Uh, I like to have a little road noise when I drive. <laughs> These were cheap, uh, probably because they're Forcium tires. And they were like 380 380 for four of them delivered to the house. Now, i got to get them mounted and balanced. But uh, I thought that was mighty fine. And I think they're going to look great on the truck. And today I got in my Ryobi pressure washer, battery operated. I made fun of my friend Jerry at BS Corner. Uh, if you haven't gone to his channel, it's in one of my fa it's in my favorites. Uh, you need to check his out because he actually just does some amazing stuff. I made fun of him for having uh, a green machine uh, Ryobi, and I ended up buying this battery operated pressure washer. So I'm going to be testing it out. But I already have the lawnmower, so this will be super cool. Two extra batteries. I'm headed down to CNF Tire to pick up the Toyota tire that I had Nick mount, and I was going to look at his Jeep while I was there. Uh-oh, peeking out from underneath the tarp. Looks like a renegade. This Jeep is in really nice shape. <laughs> it's got a tarp over it. Wow. CJ. Everything's original in this thing. Really sweet. The seats are a little rough. <laughs> That's to be expected. This one did have air conditioning. Look at that. Holy crap. That was an early option. And it's got the six cylinder in it. So, man, gotta love it. There's Kelly! <laughs> what are you doing? Oh my gosh, not me. <laughs> huh? Say, hi, Redneck Garage! Look, they got glass up here. <laughs> Do you feel safer now? A little bit. Oh, there's Nick! CNF! What up? Okay, tell me about your Jeep. I just took some video of it. Did you? What do you want to know about it? Well, where'd you get it? Where's it been? What's well, going on with it? So, that Jeep belonged to my aunt. Wow. Yeah, she died in 87. My grandfather kept it. Dang. It's in great shape. It's in good All shape. original. All original. So, what uh, What year is it? 80 82. Two? Mm -hmm. So, she had, she's bought it new? No, they bought it. It was a year old. They bought it in 83. Oh, damn. Yep. It's sweet. We're going to take a look at getting a top for it, aren't we? We are. We're we are. going to get a top. And just to give you a little preview, we'll have an interview with Nick because he is the guru of everything suspension related on Jeeps. If you're around Franklin or Nashville and you need your Jeep worked on, really anything worked on suspension wise, he's the guy. But we're going to talk about death wobble later and why my Jeep's shaking all over the place. Yeah, why your Jeep is shaking. Yes, why my Jeep is shaking. And it's not the coil springs. All right, I'm gonna pick up my tire. <laughs> really, can you drive the Jeep? Why not? It'd be sad. I get in trouble. Eh. What? Don't wear flip flops. <laughs> 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 I don't know what I'm doing. Right here. All right. So what did what did we find? Oh, professional off road. You can't not even off road. So I don't even know if you'll be able to drive this. Well, I think I can to Home Depot and back. Well, it's professional. Oh, right. I couldn't. I couldn't drive it if it's professional off-road. It looks good, but it's still a big piece of crap. Yeah, well, no, I, mean, I can't see that. No, we gotta try them out. We'll see. see. We it actually looks pretty cool. It is a good looking tire. But it's just not molded right. Well, we got, I mean, anytime you got 50,000 to run out on it, it's not good. That's a lot of weight. It's a lot of weight. You could tie a monkey to the back side of it. <laughs> So I've got this super clean all-wheel cleaner, foams away grime, grease, brake dust, super easy, super fast. I'm going to put it through its paces on this Toyota wheel. Uh, around that middle section is kind of nasty, but when you flip it over, you can see there's brake dust on the inside too. So I'm going to spray it down, and we're going to see how it comes out. Here's how they look before, and this has been on there since 1987. So it's really done a good job, uh, but I want something. They're the factory originals, but I'm going to put something that looks a little bit better. We'll see how that does. Yeah, it actually was chrome at one time. It's just dulled out through the years. There's the old versus the new. Everything looks good here. I'm going to go ahead and just clean this up real well and then paint it black. And then uh, we'll put everything back together. All right, I sprayed it with the rust encapsulator from Eastwood uh, all over. It's about dry. 
Then I'm going to spray it with extreme chassis black. It should be in good shape. So far so good. I bought all stainless steel nuts, bolts, lock, lock washers so it doesn't rust up in the places it did before. So I'll get that all put together. Okay, I got the passenger side on. I thought we'd do a quick uh, before and after. That's the before. And that's the after. Woo! Much better. Alright, the only thing I need to do now is get me some new lug nuts. They're not very expensive and those look like crap. So <laughs> I'll get a new set of those. Uh, it makes a huge difference the way the front wheels look. I love the new tires. The tires are awesome. So that'll be the completion of the tires on the truck and the front hubs and all of that. I'm going to get back to prepping for paint. Keep watching. I will get this thing painted. <laughs> I'm David from the Redneck Garage. Keep turning wrenches.